Yep, uh, back again guys. Okay. After the last video, I think I said I was going to hook up a, rig up a couple of skirted lures. Like these are just a couple of my 3D printed skirted lures. These things, they, these things work awesome. Anyway, what I was going to do is just show you a quick and easy way to rig them up so you get the hook length pretty much the right size every time. And I think I'll rig the small one up with just a single hook rig and I'll do the bigger one with a double hook rig. And I'm just going to show you how easy this really is. Everyone thinks it's really complicated. It's not. Okay. So with the bigger one, I've got a pair of good 90s. These are VMCs in lines. And they just go over the head nicely so you'll know they'll fit. And when I rig it, it should hopefully the bottom one should be sitting there and the top one should be sitting up in here like so. Okay. And then I've got this one. I think this one's like a 7 -0, Smaller 7 -0. It Goes over the head. Okay, and I'll have the 7 -0 sitting about there on a smaller lure. And I always rig my lures with wire. I know some guys don't. Like if you're down south chasing tuna and stuff, you don't need to. There's not any toothy critters down there that's going to bite you off. But up here in southeast Queensland and warmer water and all the New South Wales and stuff, we get a lot of wahoo and occasionally mackerel and stuff. And they do eat these things, eat skirted lures. And we do want to actually catch them because they're, they're a fun bycatch. They taste good and they're fun to catch. And when they come past and they chop your, most of your skirts off with their razor sharp teeth, you don't want to lose your hook as well. You want to keep your hook and you want to catch the fish. So if you're going to bugger up your lure, you might as well take a bugger. A, bugger home to eat so and it doesn't seem to put the marlin off and the dolphin fish and stuff they don't worry about the short bit of wire so and also get you also get plenty of yellow fins so they don't seem to care either anyway let's get to it so first one we'll do is the bigger one so just lay the lure down like so my way of doing things is i just get the wire poke it up inside the skirt until it's hitting the back of the head it's just hitting the head in here and then I'll get the, then about a centimetre in from the bottom, from the bottom of the skirt, I'll go up about a centimetre, and that's where I cut the wire off, okay? So I'll go up about a centimetre, and that's where I cut it off. There's our wire full of hook. Now, I'll start making, so it's nice and short. That's measured for this one quite nicely. Now, we'll just get a couple of crimps. These are one mil crimps, so these, this is one 50 pound multi-strand wire I'm using and one mil crimps, but they're double crimps. So they're crimp on crimp, they're, just, they're doubles. They seem to work really well. They fit. So on one end, I'm just gonna crimp down just a little loop, just about so. Don't wanna go too small, because you gotta get your line and your protector tube through there. So on one end, we'll do that. Crimp him down. Okay, so you can see there, crimp down nice, easy. Now on the other end, we'll crimp the hook on. So we'll get a nono, now put Y through the eye. Make sure you don't wreck the Y, put it through, just nice and gently. Go down so it's a nice snug, nice little loop, but still the hook's free swinging. We'll fix that in a minute. Generally you like how hook's, you know, fixed. Once again, crimp him on. Like so. So basically that's it, there's your hook rig, how simple. And when you measure it up, you can grab your wire, put it up under the skirt there, and just into the bottom. You see how where the hook sits, seems a bit high at the moment, but don't forget, once you put the crimp and loop on, on your line, it'll actually sit back about yay. And that's gonna be pretty much perfect. Okay, so that's done. Now this is a bit that confuses people. They see that and they say, well, you've got one hook. How do you put another hook on there? How do you attach this one? You haven't, you didn't crimp it on. All you do, watch, this, this is really simple. Good old heat shrink. Buy this at most electrical shops. I get this from JCAR. It's like a couple of dollars for a couple of meters. It's so cheap. What we do, I'm just gonna measure, so, Bottom of the eye there, you want it to go down the shank a little bit. Okay. Cut it off. That's one bit. Now on the now the bottom bit. The bottom bit I measure as well, so I just want it covering the crimp. And I want it covering the eye of the hook, so about yay. 
I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a lighter. Generally, I won't use a lighter. I'm t turn to black. I have got a heat gun over there. I usually, you just use a heat gun to melt it. If not a heat gun, boil some water with the kettle and just pour hot water over the kettle. It'll shrink down nicely. But just for this in front of the camera, I'll just use a lighter and just do it quickly. So the first one I cut, I measured to go over the down over the hook. It doesn't have to go all the way over the eye. Just you know, over about at least half or so. Like so. So once you shrink that down, that's gonna be stiff rigged. So now I'll just melt it down like so. How's that? Now with the second hook, this is where everyone gets confused. But all I do is just put the heat shrink on the hook, like so. Now with your Y, your loop, you just put it up under the heat shrink as well, like so. Make sure the eye of the wire is level with the eye of the hook. Hopefully you can see that, like so. Melt it down. And voila, there's a two hook rig. How simple. Have a look at that. Two hooks. Two hook rig. And generally when you do them, hopefully you can twist a wire around so we have them just slightly offset like so. That's how I like to run them. You don't want them all the way around or halfway around. I like them just offset like they are there. And once you put the hook on, you can actually twist the wire around until you get the hook to sit in where you want it. See? How's that? Might as well finish the job off now. There's a nice, not that nice skirt. I like that colour. I actually got some fish the other day, it's a good colour. So, what I've got here, this is 130. Generally, I like to run around 100. This is what I've got to rig, so I'll rig this. I haven't got any wind ons left, so I'll just make them a couple of metre litres. Oh, I'm going to need some... Uh, here's my protector tube. I forgot something. Aha. Uh -huh. Important bit. <coughs> Can't forget the old protector tube. Okay, so this is only going to be short as well. Just enough to make some lines. I mean some loops. Do them about the same length. And so this is going on 130. I've got the crimps here to suit. Okay. So on one end, just crimp. Protector tube. Uh, we'll just pull it down so it's just a nice little tube like so. Crimp that. Nicely done. Now the other end, we'll just slide it through the center of the skirt. Okay, like so. Now we'll do the same. Just crimp, protector tube. Now just put it through the wire, make sure it goes through the wire and the eye of the hook, through both of them. Okay, now pull it down, nice and snug. You can see there, it's a little bit free swing, it's not bad. All that. Okay. So there we go, all crimped up. Now, generally before, most of the time, before I crimp this, I'll put it, set it like so, don't crimp it. Then I'll pull it up here to make sure the hooks sit quite nicely where I want them to a skirt, make sure they're not sitting too far down or whatever, if somebody else has made the hook rigs. But since I made it and I had a rough idea how long I made it, look at that. That's pretty much perfect. The point in the bottom hook's just outside the bottom of the skirt, that's where I like it. That one's about halfway down. How's that? 
That thing's ready to go catch some marlin, wahoo, dolphin fish, everyone in between. Yeah, all right, that's absolutely perfect. That's how simple it is, guys. It's not hard. Now that we've done that one, what we'll do is we've got one smaller one there. Let's quickly rig that up as well. A single hook, so once again, roughly a couple of meters. Let's get it all ready this time. We have got a couple of pieces of tube. Okay. Once again, skirt, multi strand wire. Just stop inside the skirt there until it hits the back of the head. Then about a, about a centimeter up inside the skirt from the end, a centimeter up, roughly, cut it. That's how easy it is to measure. Okay. Now, a couple of little one mil crimps to fit this wire. It's up there. One first. And then just pull it down so there's a little loop. Crimp down. When you're crimping too, don't crimp the ends of the crimps when you're doing the mono because it puts a sharp edge on them. You don't want a sharp edge, you want them flared out so it won't hurt the mono. When you're doing the wire, I still flare them out, but it doesn't matter if you actually crimp the ends because it's wire, it's not going to hurt, so don't panic. So, one end. Now, the other end, just another nice little loop. Just a little loop like so, because it's got to put the protector tube through there. Okay, like so. Once again, you can put it up so it fits the back of the skirt. You see how high it hits sitting there. Once you put the protector tube, now the one that should sit down about there, which is going to be perfect. Okay, so that. Now, with your hook rig, once again, you can measure it just to cover the eye and, uh, and the crimp. So just a little bit, short bit of heat shrink. You don't want to go too much because you don't want to waste it. And since this is a single hook, I'm just going to cut a nice short bit of heat shrink, just enough to cover that ugly, ugly crimp. That's it. So that one down over the hook like so. This just covers the crimp and what we call stiff rigs on, so the hooks aren't free swinging. They seem to have a better hook up rate when they're a bit stiffer. Hey, that's it. All that. One. Now the top one, just a little bit. Just enough to go over the crimp there. Another hook, well done. Now, we'll just rig up this leader. Two more crimps. And show you the single hook. And to be honest, some guys like running double hooks in their skirted lures. Some guys like running single hooks. I prefer running single, I find it a bit safer. Especially when I'm fishing by myself or the guys that aren't really sure what they're doing. Um, it's safer to have one fish in the hook. I mean, I don't know what I said then. One hook in the fish, instead of one in the fish and one free swinging around somebody's wrist when they're not sure what they're grabbing, and you can get yourselves in all sorts of trouble doing that. So I just have one hook for the fish, that's it. I find the hook up rates very similar. I very rarely miss fish on single hooks, especially when you've got them sitting right at the back of the skirt. Uh, it's safer, it's safer for you. It seems to be safer for the fish if you want to release them. And if it, you do get bitten off by, by wahoo and stuff, it's not as expensive because some of these hooks are quite friggin' dear. They're not cheap hooks, these things. So once again, that's through. Now, same on this end, we'll just put a crimp on. Bit of tube, like so. And through the loop of the wire, yeah, maybe four. Back in. See, like so, that's all it is. 
And that won't break through the protective tube in a long fight. I've never had that break off yet, so don't panic about that. I haven't crimped it yet, I was just going to show you sometimes when you buy hooks already pre-made for your lures, just put them in like so and measure them. You can see that one's pretty much perfect again because I measured it. But when you've got them pre-made, just do that and make sure that they're not too long or too short or anything. Um, if they're like too short and the hook's sitting right up inside, what you can do is put like beads here, like little lume beads or something like one bead, two beads. And that will just push the hook back a bit further so it's fit, sitting back where you want it. Just put a bead in there, or two beads, or three beads. But don't go over the top. If you need a heap of beads, well, readjust your hooks. So that one's perfect, as you saw. I'll crimp that down. Like so. And I just replaced a couple of skirts I lost last trip. So, all rigged up, ready to go. So there's me little tiny one, that's a 6 inch skirt with a, a 7 r in it. That'll work quite well. And there's me 8 inch skirt. And there's a double hooks, double 9 o's. So guys, how easy was that? Make up your own hook rigs. Not hard. All you need is a bit of heat shrink, some good multi-strand wire, soft multi-strand wire. It can be hard to find at times. That's only 150 pound, I don't believe in going too heavy. If I'm running big skirts for blue marlin and stuff, I'll go up to 400 and whatever wire, but it's only 150. Fine for these little skirts. So around 100 pound leader, that's 130, but I'd like to run around 100. Some crimps to suit, and you're good to go. Uh, a bit of tube, protective tube, and that's it. Just follow along with the video. It's not hard, guys. Practice... Um, yeah, practice making a few hooks for your own for your own skirt, and when you go catching fish in your own gear that you made up, it's a good feeling. Anyway, thanks for following along. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.